Green Bay Wacky. I do news, comedy skits, how-to videos, original music videos, and fun and interesting live streams. You gotta go to my playlist. Green Bay Wacky is on all social media platforms. Support me by subscribing, becoming a monthly member, go to my about page for merchandise, or simply share my videos. Hey, it's Green Bay Wacky. I've got kind of an interesting story for you. I know a lot about this because this is about DLive, the platform. I think the, some feathers are ruffled. I think some people are getting kind of scared, but let me show you the story. I know a lot about this. If you have never been to my channel before, I do make videos, but I am a live streamer. I stream across multiple platforms as do a lot of live streamers. It's hard to be exclusive nowadays. It just is. I mean, we're trying to build our brand. DLive is one of my streaming platforms. I know a lot about what happens there. Now, here's the story. It's just breaking out over the course of the past day or two. I saw it here on Boldly. Streaming service DLive under fire for conspiracy content. Goes on to say alternative streaming platform DLive has caught the attention of media and political services with a recent Time article highlighting concern over the ability for political extremists to profit from conspiracy theories. Huh. Now, we'll talk about this in a minute. Now, the Time article, I assume, is this one. How far right personalities and conspiracy theorists are cashing in on the pandemic online? That is an ambiguous statement. I'll tell you why. Stay with me. Don't hang up on this video yet. Now, they're citing Nick Fuentes. He's got about 40,000 followers on DLive going into some conspiracy theories. Now, first of all, a couple things let's address. Number one, the issue of free speech. Where did that go? free speech. Number two, the idea that just e-livers are cashing in all this money on speaking about conspiracy theories, which by the way, conspiracy theories was made in the 60s after JFK to debunk a lot of truthful things. Just so you know, you can kind of Google that. It's an expression, an urban, not urban legend, urban dictionary type expression. And the idea that d-livers are profiting off this you're telling me Fox News, CNBC, ABC, CBS, and on and on and on, all the news services are not profiting off the pandemic with incredible headlines, incredible one-hour specials, two-hour specials for viewership ratings and advertising dollars. Everyone's cashing in with their opinions. And don't tell me, you don't even go there and tell me that mainstream media, when you watch their big blowout kind of stories, that suck you in for viewership so they get higher advertising revenue. Uh, the mainstream media is 100% legit, 100% honest, that there's no truth to the expression fake news. Okay, please, don't even go there. China itself is profiting off the pandemic. Don't hear that in the news. They're getting billions, more than likely billions. I know it's in the millions. Uh, selling masks, selling test kits, all this other stuff. The idea to try to start going after DLive, you know what that tells me? Somebody's feathers are ruffled. Somebody might be a little scared. And what is this heading towards? More censorship? More censorship? I appreciate the free speech. More censorship? Are they going to buy them out, try to silence them, shut them up, threaten them? What are they going to do? Where is this headed? Not only that, you know, first of all, I'm a small streamer. I mean, they're talking about him making $140,000 off it. God bless his heart. Oh my goodness, 140 grand. I must not be talking about the right stuff. But I appreciate the free speech. And where is that? Free speech. People, you know what? There's a, they make it out like DLive in those headlines, that shocking kind of headlines, that out of all the streamers on DLive, that everyone is a right-wing conspiracy extremist. That's not even close. Not even close. There are people that just shoot the breeze and hang out. There's the 420 community over there. There are people that just are comedians. There's people that do their own music. There's pets. There's everything. Yes, there are some shows that focus on conversation about world events, world topics. Even I do that sometimes. But I'm into comedy and laughs and all that. DLive is not all a political right-wing conspiracy extremist platform. Like every single streamer, that's what they're there for. Not true. Not true. I don't know what you think of this. Tell me what you think of this. But this one kind of hits home because I know a lot about DLive. I know a lot. I know a lot about the streamers there. It's a great community. And not everyone is a right-wing white. Blah. I'm doing a Joe Biden there. Oh, crap. 
oh man, I was just profiting off uh, conspiracy. Oh, just kidding. Um, not everyone is a right wing extremist over there. There's a lot of great people, as are on YouTube and many, many other platforms. All I can say is this sounds to me like the beginning of some kind of little something. If it gets out into mainstream media, that means that you know, DLive is growing and getting people's attentions and the opinions that are being expressed there. Somebody must not like them. You know, PewDiePie on YouTube, 100 million subscribers, he went to DLive as his exclusive live streaming platform. He got a contract with them. So, you know, make up your own opinion. I'm not giving you any opinions that would try to sway you either way on anything. I'm just telling you kind of my thoughts on what's going on with this story. So, mainstream media starting to go slowly after DLive, and I'm sure it'll get worse and worse and worse. They will be accused of all different kinds of crazy stuff. Let's see where it goes on this news story. I report it. I report it. You decide it. What do you think? DLive, all full of right-wing conspiracy theorists, and are they not able to get paid for their content, not able to entertain people, not able to entertain in or entertain conspiracy theories, engage people in conversations, make you think, give their opinions. First Amendment, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, baby. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. I don't know. I think it could be going to censorship and attacks. That's just me. All right. I'm out. Like I said, I report it. You decide it. Green Bay Wacky. Over and out.